They sit and puff their edge away, some sharing a light, others share the cigarette. But little do they know that in four months' time, smoking might land them behind bars following stringent tobacco regulations that were gazetted on December 5th, 2014, that has proposed strict measures to discourage smoking. What we are doing is that we are only for public health uh, concerns of the population of Kenya and the people who actually stay in Kenya, we are only trying to safeguard. Uh, people from actually uh, issues that we can be able to prevent and, the, and that those who cannot make an informed decision based on their advice that we have been able to give. In an advertisement today, the government started creating awareness on the new campaign that outlaws smoking in public places. Tobacco causes six, six million deaths annually in the whole world. About 600,000 of these deaths result from exposure to secondhand tobacco smoke. And the campaign is designed to shock with a requirement that graphic pictures of the people affected by smoking be displayed on cigarette packets. Some of the regulations that come into force on June 5th include the manufacturer shall ensure that there are warning labels information on the packet. A picture and pictogram required shall be in full color with contrasting colors for the background in a manner that mixes noticeably and legibility of elements of health warnings and messages in the approved layout and design. For example, if you look at the pictorial, they cannot, we could have been able to put those pictures there. They are arising from effects of tobacco anyway. So they are real. They are, they, you know, we are not talking about fiction. We are talking about real issues. Smokers will now not be allowed to puff in a private vehicle where children are on board or street walkways and verandas. The majority of the people who die from second-hand tobacco smoke are usually children, women and siblings, friends who live or stay or work in places where people smoke uh, tobacco and therefore they are exposed to second-hand tobacco smoke. Building owners will also be required to put up a notice in their premises announcing it is an offense to smoke in those premises. According to the legislation, authorized officers who can arrest you include medical officers of health, police officers and administration police, prison officers, local authority inspectorate officers and Kenya forest rangers. The regulations have been received with mixed reactions from the members of the public. <laughs> ama vile vile huwa wanaekewa smoking zone wawekewe bali na karibu na public it's like uh, they are infringing into people's rights you know? like when you're telling me that I'm not, I'm not supposed to smoke in the car as in that's my personal space according to a survey conducted by the ministry of health last year since the introduction of the tobacco control act 2007 there has been a drastic decrease in cases of deaths resulting from smoking the survey also notes a decrease of youth engaging in smoking a sign that tobacco regulation does discourage smoking Health authorities warn of long-term effects of smoking including lung disease, cancer, gum disease and addiction. This man has battled the habit for 12 years. And, and you're afraid uh, of all the bad things that are said about uh, smoking, cancer? I know, I know, I know. That's the reason I'm telling you. It's a journey. You know, once you start, it's easier. But quitting is the, the biggest problem. That's how it works. Those caught flouting the regulation risk a six-month jail term or a fine of not more than 500,000 shillings. Michael Njenga, Citizen TV, Nairobi.